Hey everybody, Robert Dunt, our top 10.com and here we are, strolling through Freeze London 2022. And um, yeah, let's have a look around and uh, see what happens. Uh, Freeze London, obviously one of the uh, biggest, or the biggest art fair of the year in London. Um, all the major galleries, commercial galleries from around the world turn up to show off their stuff. And uh, yeah, it's fun. It's uh, really good fun always and entertaining and a fantastic snapshot of what is going on in the art world. So, let's have a stroll. Let's have a little browse. So this is a uh, Dong Gallery, Shanghai. Quite a nice sort of funky, um, not really sure what it is, kind of, what's it made of? Urethrine paint on wood. Kind of funky and colourful. Got some big, mad pictures around here that are quite entertaining. It's got like two giant, Eyeballs in that one. And around there, got, um, this is from Vienna, that one's from Lisbon. Kind of sort of funky, is that a drawing? A sort of part drawing, part photograph. Quite nice actually, quite like Nice drawing. <coughs> Presumably projected. But it's kind of fun. I like that sort of stuff where you mix up a bit of drawing and um, photography. I used to do some stuff like that. Um, Showing a few big clouds and giant red pictures here with a hint of sort of uh, brushwork on them, I'd say. Old Prussian and Young Prussian exhibition history. Interesting, so it's quite difficult to tell. You don't know just how you know important all of these artists are or what they've done. It's not always instantly apparent. Kind of funky street scene. This is from Edinburgh. Amber again. Lorna Robertson. It's interesting, there's always a certain vibe of what um, Freeze is like each year. And you've sort of got to wander around a bit and pick it up. And the thing that's quite hard about Freeze, I find, when you're visiting it, is that it's always a bit mind blowing to start with. You've just got all of these different galleries all showing. Uh, different things and you're never quite sure what's sort of going on, it's sort of overwhelming and uh, overwhelming, but I mean that's fun, you get to see all these things, you just get to see so many things, then you've often got fun things like that sort of mad, like sort of column of hair over there, stuff like that that keeps you entertained, big pictures there. But yeah, nothing like a column of hair. You've got to have a column of hair to keep you entertained. That's part of the fun. Now we're wandering out of this green section. I'm not sure what the green section was. You can see the map here. And off down into this blue section. Chicago, London. And we've got Sadie Coles. We've got a few more people down here. It's a bit busier. I'd say what we're it's on a Friday. About sort of um. We're just coming up to midday, so we haven't really um, hit the sort of big time yet. We get a lot busier. We got a big picture there. That's going to be like a big picture from the distance. It looks kind of fun, doesn't it? The people wandering around it. Whoa, look at that! That's what you come here for. These sort of fun things. That's a Gagosian. That's Gagosian, one of the biggest most uh, important galleries in the world. So as they normally just seem to have one kind of uh, artist each year in the gallery. I'm not entirely sure who this one is, but I would have thought all of these have sold um, straight away basically. And this seems to happen pretty quickly. David Kordansky Gallery. You've got quite a lot of tours going on with people with headphones on. They're quite good actually going on a tour. Some tennis courts. Empty tennis courts, kind of quite funky the empty tennis courts. Moving around here, got some uh, big paintings, sort of mad, sort of half-made sculpture. I don't know if that's painted or if it's in 
Yeah. Very big, big chunky uh, points of paint making that one up. And a few little collages down the side here. Amalia Pika, born 1978. Yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? It's 1978. I mean, she's younger than me but they're already here in freeze which is always a surprise well, it's difficult I mean it's, it freeze is an interesting thing I mean it's obviously contemporary artists it's not older artists so oh, well, that's kind of cool like these little hanging hanging sculpture pieces here oh they're sort of crushed pots it's quite pretty actually Nice, even the little wires on them are actually rather pretty. Quite like that. Frith Street Gallery. Oh, that's Cornelia Parker. He did the exploding shed and he's got the um, exhibition of the Tate at the moment. Interesting, it's quite cool, quite like that. Um, blue head, Tommy Schutter. Nice, yeah, I always like those paintings. So I like this black and red one. This be like uh, Ian Davenport. I always like them. And nice, quite clever. Oh, it's quite nice. You can see on here on the side, you can see the red under the black, which is nice. <laughs> and then you've got some big sort of... Oh, those must be, oh they are paintings, actually. Huh? By Tafta Dean. Interesting. It's always interesting to see what's happening here. Over here, some missing giant pumpkins. How could he possibly have an art fair without a few giant pumpkins? Look at them, aren't they wonderful? There's nothing like a giant pumpkin. I mean, that's what keeps it fun. Oh, it's a main stand prize. I guess this stand got a prize for what it looks like. I think it deserves it. This is the pumpkins, frankly. What's happening down here? Ella. Glanska. Right, Anthea Hamilton was the giant pumpkin. So it's difficult to say quite what, what this year has got in store for it as far as freeze goes. Um, I heard some sort of rumours that, you know, obviously we've got this cost of living crisis here in the UK. You know, the question is if anybody has got the money to buy anything, although like presumably this section of um, Art buyers are probably not as affected by it as others are, um, but nevertheless, there's some sort of some sort of vibe that even these major galleries have been slightly more cautious with what they brought out this year. Um, maybe not got the mega stuff they often bring. Some nice sort of big paintings here. Painting away. We've got faces, haven't they? Just the faces buried in these ones. Funky. Giant flowers. It's always nice to have a bit of a sort of contemporary take on, um, uh, you know, something like flower painting that's regarded as, uh, you know, very traditional. Giant, <laughs> maybe this year is the year of giant balls of wool. Look, there's a giant ball of wool like the other. So statue of wool. A freaky sort of, is that a sculpture? I guess so. It's a wall-based sculpture by Teresita Fernandez. Video and these look sort of quite sweet. Um, sweet? I don't know. Sorry. Um, oh, a nice sort of, oh, it's glistening there, isn't it? It's nice. So back in that Sadie Cole's uh, gallery, Hugo Rondine, I think these are. So just the whole thing dedicated to these. Is the Sadie Cole's has gone there? Yeah, Sadie Cole's. Um, I always find these things quite, I mean, it's quite I mean, obviously, it's got to be something to do with what he's done or his history or his name, because anybody can obviously produce this kind of work. I mean, they're fine, they're sort of part sunset, part abstract. It's quite nice in terms of the balance between those two things. But um, that's, that's the fun of freeze. Is it, is it, I mean, absolutely amazing artwork or is it not? It's 
hard to tell. Um, I don't know. Always, always. Well, that's what makes it fun. You come here and you just see, see stuff that. I don't know. It's always anyway, whatever it is. It's intriguing to come here and see what is the pinnacle of the art world. Who's that by? Michael Williams. It's kind of like I'd say actually. Um, thinking about this year, what the vibe is so far, everything seems quite acceptable. Um, it's nothing too uh, controversial. There's a funky Bart Simpson. Um, there's a big watch. Let's go and have a look at the big watch. Watch is fun. Um, it seems quite a friendly version of Freeze as well. So. Look at the watch. Cool. Check it out. It's funky, isn't it? Everybody would enjoy a, a giant watch on their wall. <laughs> like, it's like, like, like a tongue that goes down. They've got a nice abstract painting over there. Quite fun. Oh, I see you've got a squirrely, squidged Bart Simpson. Squirrely Mickey Mouse. Quite fun as well. I don't dislike these abstracts actually, they're quite nice. Bit of poured paint, bit of sort of masked off area. It's interesting, it's interesting. You just don't know enough history about, or certainly I don't, about these different artists you see here. It looks like I saw that some abstract by somebody else in the sky years ago. How's that by? Matt Connors. Interesting, I mean, this is 2021 all in the clinic. Body fourth. I mean, it's an interesting picture, isn't it? I mean, and what makes it so good or so bad? I just don't know. Is it good? Is it bad? It's hard to say. I mean, it's fun to come and look at it, though. Crazy head, but nice head. Well, fun head, anyway. <laughs> Let's keep on strolling. Mad fish. Is that Xavier Hufkins, that was it. That must be a Tracy Emin, I'm guessing, over there. It seems like one of these things when you finally see something you recognise, it's kind of a relief. Yes, yeah, so that must be a, Yeah, that is. It's one of the Tracy Emin, like, um, you know, that's one of the. Is that actually a sculpture by Tracy Emin? Quite intriguing, for this. Yeah, addition of bronze. <laughs> quite fun. It's quite different. I should prefer that to the other things. Good painting, little little painting. Watercolour. Interesting. Now that cannot I think the full modern institute Glasgow. Yeah, crazy blue screen. Creature, I like the blue creature, look at that. Like some giant blue snake escaping into the universe. Who's that boy? That's almost like a. What is that? Women crying comic. It's so weird because that's a bit like. Um, oh, what's his name? Oh, I keep forgetting him. Hmm, funky sort of thing of wire and structure. Quite funny, huh? Um, yeah, so you know what? I suppose that's a bit what it's like when you freeze. You, you, you sort of your mind is, keeps getting pulled in different directions as you walk around. There's so many things from just so many different places. You're constantly juxtaposed from one to the other. Not quite sure. It's happening again. I'm trying to work out whether those uh, are those sunglasses. Is that just a structure? Yeah. Kind of. It is, I mean, the thing about freeze, it's always sort of mind bogglingly overwhelming, really, because just mad stuff goes on all the time. And your head is spun around. Now that must be a Damien Hurst, I would say. <laughs> so let's have a look. Damien Hurst, Veil of Dreaming. 
Let's make these work. Here we are on canvas. Let's have a look. So, I mean, I haven't seen one of these in real life before. One of these sort of, I don't know, we've talked about Bonnard and all sorts of things when painting this. And it's big, it's colourful. Difficult to say what else, really. I mean, there's no. Oh, no need to be overtly difficult about it, but um, I don't know, is there any rhyme or reason to how those colours are put together? It's a bit of pink, I just can't tell. Are you painting it and saying that looks nice? There's no, I don't know, no change throughout it, as it were, no development. Um, which is tricky. Chris Ophelia, little watercolours. I did think Chris Philly was an absolute genius with that um, room he made where he saw all sorts of different things. I find it more complicated since then. I haven't liked those, the ones with the elephant dung and then you had the different layers of sort of acrylic paint. They're really nice, all those different layers of paint. It made it quite special. Since then it's a bit more uh, prosaic, a bit more normal. Wandering on through. Oh, look, you got some hanging dolls. What more do you want? Weird hanging dolls. Gotta have a few weird hanging dolls with no eyeballs. Nice. I like it. And you got some more of these dolls repeated here in this picture. It's fantastic. Fun, 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 fun. So these little uh, Crucifili watercolors are at um, Victoria Miro. I just realized. Oh, look at that crazy sort of wall of. Uh, what would you say? Sort of uh, ropes you'd attach bicycles to. Oh, that's quite nice. Actually, I quite like that painting. Even though there's something about the way the tops and bottoms are done that bothers me. But it's, uh, it's not bad. Helder Stern. Really sure yet again. I don't really know who held the stone. I don't know who loads of these people are. You have to be pretty hardcore into it to really know about them. Oh, really good. I thought it was going to pass out for a minute. Look at that strange wooden statue. Oh, a wooden statue, thank you. I think like a bit of a wooden. Is that wood? What do you mean? Oh, cool. This must be more Tracy Emin, I'm guessing. Maybe it's Tracy Emin, yeah, this year. Oh, sorry, I'm wandering around a bit aimlessly there. Um, let's keep on strolling. Oh, so that's Hauser and Worth. Hauser and Worth on the left, they're like, you know, another mega world gallery. Who's that picture there? Sure, I'm not sure who that's by, I can't work it out. It's either Mary Hellman, Jimmy Holtz, or Louis Bourgeois, not Louis Bourgeois, no. Um, interesting. A weird painter. Oh, Frank Bowen. Hobble wobble. No, oh, I just can't decide. Is that good, bad? What does it do for me? Do you want to look at it at home? Oh, it's a weird comment, but I mean, I know, it's a weird comment, is this art all for like institutions? I mean, it can't be, because most of the collectors here must be buying for their homes. Can you show me? Oh, intriguing. Picture that one. Crazy bits of sculpture stuff. Thomas Price, maybe? Oh. Maybe that's gone. Crazy mad drawing. Oh, look at this sort of crunched up metal. Interesting, I actually need to work out more about some of that sort of... It's so difficult, these things. I'm sure that's by somebody relatively well-known who I've not got the name of. Is it good? Is it bad? I just don't know. These are presumably just... Um, 
Are these? Absolutely no idea what they are. Well, God, nearly passed out again. Oh, those days around here. I think this is a bit of a sort of pass out zone. It does make you feel completely mad as you're wandering in. Man, more Tracy in and more Tracy and sculptures. This is from the Venice guy. So it really is Tracy in the year this year. I actually think the sculptures are a lot better. A lot of other stuff. Well, this one's actually not bad, is it? It's quite a good sculpture. See the fingers in it, it's got a bit of that kind of. Oh. Man. The light in here is mental, it's actually incredibly bright in this gallery, in this whole place. Oh. Oh, look at this dog. Nothing like a nice dog. <sighs> okay. Kind of crazy, crazy vibe here. Look at that crazy guy there. What's he made out of? What is he made out of? Oh, look at that. Oh man, then we've got the pictures hidden within that. That is confusing. Stephen Gallery. Is that made of? Okay. Yeah, so right by the RA. Yeah. Crazy and fun. Crazy and fun. Stephen Friedman Gallery. It's really difficult to know if you bought one of these, what would it look like when you got it home? Because you've seen it on this mad wall. <laughs> Intriguing. That's kind of a weird giant painting picture thing over here. Nice picture of somebody going upstairs. That's by Kiko Morase. Nicely done. And then more photos over here from the other side. This gallery's from Mumbai, which is a bit of fun. Like Indian kind of, uh, you know, like a holy sort of colour um, ceremony, I guess. Quite cool, those pictures of the big red eyes. Look at that. Whirr. Reminds me of that picture by Suzanne in the uh, current Suzanne exhibition at um, Tate Modern. Big sort of giant um, wooden thing where it's a listening area. Oh, it's actually somewhere to sit. There's almost nowhere to sit here, which is quite funny. I'm not really sitting down. Los Angeles, New York. Oh, these are actually sort of half decent paintings. All on canvas. They sort of, I don't know, they've almost got a bit of. I don't know why they look like yet. Yeah trying too hard to paint them. Or do they have a contemporary feel? Just not sure. Just not sure. That's the thing, half the time. Just not sure. <coughs> Karma, this one. Oh, you've got, what's that, Miss Piggy and crew marching down the road. Why would you buy that? Why would you buy that and put it on the wall? That's for an elaborate joke. But I mean, it must be a hugely expensive joke if you're going to go for it. Um, Sean Kelly, New York, Los Angeles. Oh, that's like a Casper David Frederick. James. So bad. <clears throat> I don't know if that is an edition of five. Archival print, well, I wondered. Couldn't tell if that was a painting or a print. <coughs> Quite a fun painting over there, a bit of madness into it. Swirling around. And a crazy video going on. Quite insane in a crazy video. <coughs> Berlin Gallery. Freaky, it's got his neck. Hmm, quite soon. Destroy Transformers. Double image of a person. Around we go. A little bit more stuff. 
teddy bears playing with balloons. So I actually quite enjoy the video, but less people watching it. <coughs> it's quite fun. <sighs> Big painting. As ever. I don't know, I mean, it's alright, isn't it? I don't know, I was wrong so. <clears throat> One day the big painting is by. Still find the, I mean, it's alright. I don't particularly like the colours, they're not particularly stunning. It's big. Gunther Fogg, 2013, I remember. Gunther Fogg. Yeah. I don't know. Hard. The thing I find really hard, I mean, it's just because of the name, is it because of what that makes it so intriguing and not intriguing? I mean, is it? I'm not going to go in the foyer of a hotel, but I suppose. Is that where it's going to end up? Or in somebody's house? <coughs> I find the whole thing quite uh, tricky. Funny, old people like me wandering around, <laughs> not entirely sure where they've been or where they haven't. It is absolutely bewildering. Freeze. Always come here and your mind is just spinning around after half an hour. Pulled from one thing to the other. I find it interesting if you're here specifically to really buy something, it could be quite hard. How would you work out what you wanted to get or where you were going to go? Unless you already specifically had something in mind that you're really going for. Um, I also find that the odd thing about a lot of Think about this on the way here about engagement. In the past, you know, you were meant to artists would produce art that, you know, actively forced you to look at it. But nowadays it's more like <laughs> you have to engage yourself with the art. Is that just because the art's not engaging? I mean, you know, it could easily be criticized these days for not working hard enough to see what the art is like. But shouldn't the art be grabbing you? Anyway. Intriguing, intriguing. I mean, you've got to come here and see it because it is fascinating to come and see it. But man, hmm, bigger than I remember this year, Freeze. Anyway, let's continue on down here in the yellow section. I wish I could remember what was the difference between these sections, but <clears throat> let's see what we can find. This is one of the sort of little installation -y bits. You've got weird pink arms dangling through. Here is one we melt. Let's see if we can look in there, right? Transverse and you. And we're inside this sort of freaky bit now with a weird dolphin. Oh, I oh, see so you can stick your hand through these things. So I think there's even like um, little films through these holes. Can you see anything through the Oh, there is a TV through the quite work out what's going on there. And there's a big sort of rug. Uh, and then a guy giving a lecture. The guy living in a lecture explaining about what it's all about. Which <laughs> says enough, doesn't it? What's this like? Bridget Riley. She quite. Yeah, this is a Bridget Riley from 2020. Quite intriguing, isn't it? I mean, that does engage me. I, mean, I like Bridget Ryan, she always uses those colours. That's actually quite cool when you stand in front of it as well, because actually the white bits kind of zing out at you in a, in a you know, pop art kind of vibe. It's actually quite funky. Hmm. And these things, yeah, these are teeny tiny. There's quite a lot of this sort of weird photography this year as well, I'd say. Wolfgang Tillman, so obviously he's famous, but. Lucas, I missed the second name, Lucas Aruda. Little teeny tiny, must be oil on canvas, it's so not the right level for that. No, not bad. Not bad, but I mean, <clears throat> are they amazing? Do you want to take it home and spend like 20 grand on it or whatever it is? Well, this sort of, sort of stuff is quite bland, I think. I don't know if that's on purpose. Maybe it's a slightly bland year this year, as it's just too much complication in the world and money. 
it's certainly in the UK. Um, Strong, that was David Zwerner. Who was that? Thomas Ruff. Thomas Ruff is a, I thought he was a photographer. I've seen that as a colorist on a little carpet. I suppose he's just got his photo put on the carpet there. Unless I'm wrong. <coughs> one around here is a painting I quite like when I came in over here. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, there's this one over here in this corner. Oh, I quite liked it when I came in. I'm not sure I really like it anymore. There's a bit of sort of photography under it. Yeah, sort of gone off it now I've got up close. It looks a bit, I don't know, I thought they're more structured. Entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure any of these pictures actually have already been finished. It's a bit just like they've sort of been <coughs> started. And then somebody said, oh, that's all right, you can finish there. What is this? Chopped up pictures of pictures of people probably. Interesting colours, isn't it? Um, cannot hide my anger, cannot hide my anger. <sighs> Spruce <Spoof> majors. <clears throat> Some years you've been able to find the prices on these things this year, there's no prices anywhere. I think also leads to the fact that it's a bit more complicated to sell anything at the moment. Let's go and have a look at oh, there's a big, some giant hounds popping up in the air. These are again, yet again, these are sort of quite agreeable pictures. But there's nothing wrong with that, it's totally abstracty ish with a sort of person sailing a boat maybe. I think it's definitely freezier of acceptable stuff, agreeable, nothing intense, nothing too traumatic. <coughs> so it's probably a bit smashed up wood, but I mean, it's kind of early. It's actually quite funny. Those animals with their rosettes and all we need is a pug. And what that thing on the left is, is that a sort of, what is it? like a massive hamster. It's a cat, a rabbit. A tortoise looks profoundly scary. Look at that. This frightening tortoise I've seen in my life. I don't know, it's a little weird. It's always kind of comic. Benjamin Sr. Nicely painted, rummy in a way. These little bits of jumper. <clears throat> intriguing. Intriguing. Oh, I wonder what you're doing making your big, pretty abstract paintings. Oh, there's some giant ducks over there. Let's go look at those giant ducks. They look quite fun. Giant ducks, yay! Oh, Gary He, giant duck. Obviously famous, you know, one of those sort of British things. The giant duck's gotta be said. Best thing he's done for years. Um, not amazing, but they're and again they're quite they're just very acceptable. I mean, you know have any complaint about a giant duck. It's not gonna bother you on your wall, is it? And just be like, oh that's all right, it's quite a nice giant duck. <clears throat> what have we got over here? This is really weird. It's got lots of something a bit weird. Everything's a bit normal this time, but these are... Whoa, I feel dizzy again. Weird people with black things shooting out of their mouths and frogs on their heads. It's kind of more fun. It's kind of more fun. More entertaining. Look at that one. What is going on there? Well, actually, that does almost sort of relate to art history. With a sort of smash sculpture. I don't know, something emerging from their mouth. Slightly 
more fun than it's on the rest of it, which seems very, what would you say? Everybody versus injustice, that's what we need. There's a little gramophone over there. Right, we are still strolling on. I've been filming on the um, iPhone so far, but we'll move over to the GoPro for a bit. See what kind of vibe we get. Actually, you can almost just stand here, people watching. It's one of those things where you just watch the people go by. Probably nearly as good as the art fair itself. Um, watching them stroll back and forth, cracking stuff, isn't it? It should be quite a good art piece, just having the, um, quite literally, just having the GoPro still, watching the people move back and forth. You can have a little stroll around of the other things. Okay, so we're going to go um, GoPro for a bit, see what happens with the GoPro vibe. Maureen Haley over here. It's quite interesting, sort of British gallery. Bit of a crazy sculpture. Let's see what's going on. There is Maureen Haley, chilling out inside her spot. Um, I think we just do it. A large pink plastic bag. I wonder what that's done. Look at it, Jan's got such crazy stuff here. And what is the pink plastic bag doing? Look at this. Mirror painted on. Is that a mirror? It makes my eyes go quite weird actually. Ooh, intriguing. Now, that looks exactly like one of the things that's at the um, other thing at the front. It's actually a bar. Work it out. Which is the bridge? I've seen this before. I'm a bit mesmerised today. Can't quite work out what I have and haven't seen. I'm actually a bit lost, as I said. I'm going to wander down here. Look at those dogs. Why do I just keep looking at the dogs, man? I think it's when your mind's a bit blamed with these things. It's quite fun to go and look at a few dogs, isn't it? The dog creatures. Quite funny, the dog creatures, are they? like the birds as well. <laughs> okay, so, we we'll look at the map, and we'll try and dig to that Deutsche Bank Wealth Management Lounge, which obviously we can't actually go in the Wealth Management Lounge, because uh, we're, not, we're not that cachet. But um, let's have a wander through, and uh, see if I can dig down to the back of this foot. I'm not sure I've dug down it yet. Funky person with a candle. Let's dig, dig, dig on. A nice vibe of what's going down. Oh, crazy sort of sculpture bit. Oh, crazy little weird film. Kind of funky. It's quite a fun little film. Uh, oh yes, we have been here before, haven't we? Uh, as I said, it's quite mystical today, working out where you've been. Oh, we have already been. I've been down here. I'm not sure I've been right down to the far left-hand corner. So let's keep pounding on that way. Well, actually, maybe let's go through here and out the other side. So I can get to that far left-hand corner. Just to double check I've crossed off the things. Yeah, because we've been down here. We've seen this picture. I've been across here. We've seen that Indian girl at the end. These are quite fun little pictures. Quite nice, these little things. Quite sweet little pictures there. And Bruce. Sean Kelly, we've done this bit, haven't we? Going down here. Alexander Gray Associates. It's like a photo of their feet touching their own mirror. And then painted it. Something bizarre. Big sort of um, <laughs> giant things on the ground. So he did it. Have we actually walked all the way down here? I, I'm not sure. Let's dig our way on down. There's another loo. Massive sort of big, big painting over there. But it's, they are isolating everything. Quite a nice little print. These are two. Um, oh, wait a second. Have those? Can we just go back around here? Grace and Perry, there we go. There's a Grace and Perry doodah thing. One of his, um... What's actually that meant to be? You've got American Express around the edges, maybe a credit card. 
What's she called? Cool. Credit card. <laughs> Interesting. No, I didn't ever think I really liked Grayson Perry, but I quite like the credit card. These must be Gary Heem as well, like, you know, we were just talking about the big birds back there in Windigo. Yeah, they are. These are more what you'd have thought of as, like, Gary Heem with these kind of silvery prints, these must be. Edition of 60. Woodcuts for collage. With Anish Kapoor. Just a big green thing. Interesting. Interesting, isn't it? So definitely build into this year's freeze is a freeze of acceptable stuff. When money goes complicated, everything becomes more acceptable, more straightforward investments, I guess, straightforward purchases are not complicated. Those are weird little pictures in the corner. Sarah Morris dug in there, they look like quite sweet little watercolours hidden away inside there. Um, Oh, a finger away, a finger not. Where is it, the lens? No. Right, here we are. Sorry, rambling to myself. Right, strolling on down. A listen gallery. I'm not there, sorry, this is James Cohen. Oh, here you go, you've always got these prints. And you're swimming in a big pool. There's a little coffee area, Illy. Do you want to start going down the Got these sort of, this is like a more affordable print section. Actually, how much these things are. That's got a price on it. That's quite freaky. You can actually buy these folds and trays and stuff. Oh, like rugs. How much are these things? So, there's some cats. £300 or £270. 2000 2000 thousand for those sort of um, things with sneakers in there. What's that? 550, 495. Cornelia Parker, 2400. Too expensive. Um, interesting. Interesting. So, a few hundred to a few thousand. Strolling on, a nice lunch place here. If you've got the, the money. Commonwealth and Council. Oh, Listen Gallery. Gallery, I should be known. Listen Gallery with a few big paintings that he's done. Shh, can't quite get the name. Shirazad Kishiri. Oh man, look, here's something fun. A lot of water shooting out bats. Moscow City. What do you want? Oh, you know, I don't know whether the money's meant to be in there or not. There we go, look, you've got a few crazy things. Fun. More fun. That must be a... Oh, I said that's a side twombly. I feel so well, that should be in free, so it should be in there. Oh, that's not somebody's photo. Oh, it's not. Who is it by? Oh. That is by Zhao Wang. Interesting. So it looks like a site on to me. Um, what have we got your number through here? That's one. Yeah, that's Sophie Kali. Um, I can't pronounce that correctly. A few. Oh, some funky crap. No. Oh, a big splash follow. Who is that by? Bernard Freeze. Yeah, I haven't seen a Bernard Freeze painting for years. Born in 1949. 2021, I actually quite like Bernard Freeze pictures. I think it's abstract scale, they're pretty funky. Look at it. And we've got the back of it. Well, it's quite nice. It's got that sort of oozy, sort of liquidy medium he uses to get that effect which is quite cool but I do she quite like that not bad at all I don't think okay moving on so a few ghost heads a 
rosy baubles, which are always good, especially when you reflect in them, which is always fun. We've got a bit of craziness here, we sort of masked people. Oh yeah, we haven't actually done this bit, have we? It's over here. What we do is we say, yeah. Fashion. So, that is a, I don't know what is. A Deutsche Bank wealth management now. One of these days, dream of going in there. LG OLED, I remember there was the LG OLED bit last year, I actually really enjoyed that. It was quite fun. Oh, look at it. Funky. This is cool. I enjoyed this last year as well. Last year this was very much like a Damien Hurst thing with his NFT stuff. Entirely sure what the vibe is this year. It's also one of the few places you can sit down. I guess it's just, ironically, it's just showing off the TVs, isn't it? It's actually quite fun. I can't tell if that has a slope going down or not, it is. I wonder if I've lost quite a few of the older, older visitors in here falling over, crushed, slipping down to the ground. Anyway, the Runart Champagne Lounge. Oh, Tobias Reberger. That's who the uh, LG Lounge is by. Oh, funky. Alright. Keep on strolling on. So I'm not sure I've actually been down to the right down here. Tell me if you like the GoPro or the iPhone more as we're now on GoPro. Oh, what's that? A weird little sort of thing. It's more difficult with a GoPro to work out what you're actually filming at some points. But let's keep on wandering down. A few sort of more straightforward things. Timothy Taylor, New York. Paintings of people, presumably by just one artist. Unprecedented. What was that? That's a weird, sort of gigantic green sculpture, which is kind of stunning. <laughs> yeah, it's got a nice little watercolour. Is that a watercolour? Actually, quite like that little picture. I don't know if it's about the same one as this. BMW Lounge. It's open to all Freeze guests. So I presume you have to be a Freezy guest there, as opposed to just any old boy. Right, Vadera Art Gallery. Gallery Aigen, Berlin, Leipzig. <laughs> cool pictures of one of those. Strolling on. Oh, but for us, madness. Bit of a big thing there. Black and white writing, smaller sort of drawings. Anthony Gormley, obviously, went to Eton, like uh, Boris Johnson and the rest of them. Does it make you ask yourself, does absolutely everybody go to Eton and claw their way to the top with some help somehow? Um, <clears throat> look at that weird picture. Hales. Oh, he's heavily painted. Oh, it's lunchtime. Suddenly there's a lot less people wandering around for lunchtime. Because they've all gone off. Have nice lunches everywhere. Hmm. Okay. Oh, we're back down here. Oh, we actually returned. Returned to where I was. Right, so I think in that case, we we'll pound down this way. Uh, we can do the last little bit of Freeze London, even though my tour has been erratic as your mind is constantly spun every few seconds about what you are and where you're going. Anyway, let's keep going. Right, so I think, I think, I know we have been through Gag Gazi and the rest of this bit down here, haven't we? I think we have anyway. Um, we've been past that sculpture on a plinth. Um, 
I think I've walked around there. Oh yeah, main stand prize, yeah, it looks that bit down there. So this is like the main entrance. Back again, Bergosian. Still not. There's two of them really about the Bergosian. Hugo Rondino. Those little paintings. You know, these ones look sort of abstract. Not, actually, the big one's much nicer. More colours in um, it. Um, it's like some fire bursting out somewhere. It's like a painting of crockery. Yeah, I think this is about the only bit we haven't really strolled through. Let's have a stroll through here. So, oh, we did do a bit of a stroll through here, because there's a big thing of like a sort of fur thing sticking up on the left, isn't there? There we go. That's the left-hand fur thing. Right, let's delve into this bit here, see what happens, see what we can find. I've oh, got some sort of crazy flag over there in the distance. Oh, let's look at that weird picture of somebody in a... Um, I looked at these before, it's like, this is sort of, what I once again call sort of totally acceptable, strangely acceptable stuff. For freeze, but maybe it's trying to be more acceptable this year, as my theory is for this year's freeze. Somebody inside the potting shed. I'm not entirely sure why you'd want a painting of that. Even though it's not done badly, is it? This is the Edinburgh one. We have been down here, haven't we? Yeah, it's like Barlow. Madrid. We're just going to do a quick stroll through this Chicago. Most of these things seem to be from the anyway, so broad kind of surface section of the fair. Coming down here, funky sort of weird little building. And these orange bits and wire. Strong on. Rita's. Nice place and we can get some food. There we go. Photographs. I'm not entirely sure if that is part of the gallery. It must be actually. There we go. Pure international. People playing violins over in the distance. I mean, obviously paintings of them. Oh, see, through the back, they've got a huge storage area. The Sigourney Weaver. An alien. Nice. It's much quieter down here. Even when I came down here this morning, all these galleries were edgy. So nothing seems to be happening. Vitrine, London, Basel. It's quite spacious this area of the place. Everybody seems to be enjoying these like um, oh no, it's a tour again. Tour is quite interesting. I'll do a tour one year. This is a strange painting I see with people. Stuff on them. Almost like a weird little installation over here. A few parrots. We've got some glasses of water hanging in the air. Nice. Don't want to miss out on a few glasses of water in the air, do you? There we go. Glass of water in the air. Nice. I'm going to have a few glasses of water in the air to make it fun. I'm sure I actually walk into those glasses of water. Quite interesting. Enjoy the glasses of water. Big hands spinning around. Oh, we go down. Oh, there's a loo there. Finally go. So we have actually been around. So we have actually been around the whole thing. Okay. So, what do you think? Then? What do you think of Freeze 2022? I think it's been a more acceptable year. More sort of nothing too weird very straightforward investments or purchases this year to, you know, allay the fears of um, money crisis, fuel crisis, etc, etc. Entertaining as usual. Um, 
Yeah, possibly not as radical as ever, but um, still always fun just to see what's happening. <clears throat> Look, we've got some gloves here. They look quite funky. Look at the gloves. How cool is that? A mad wall of gloves. Cool. <clears throat> oh, a mad sort of cloth. Hmm. So, as ever, um, absolutely brilliant to be here, Freeze. You've got to come and see it each year, see what happens. Um, I think it's quite a straightforward year, nothing too radical or too disturbing. It's more sort of straightforward. <clears throat> Keep your sort of straightforward investments going. Anyway, other than that, please, as ever, like subscribe um, to this and my other channel so on subscribe obviously you are to ten.com and my other channel travel dog any of you exhibitions or stuff you'd like to uh, see reviewed well let me know and we'll see what we can do and as ever head after this is Zafid Zane bye bye cheerio au revoir